week, I sat in my office and I looked around and I thought to myself, my goodness, it's too messy in here. And, you know, I had things all over my, my desk and papers. I had all of these different things that needed to be organized and filed. And I said, this is just not a time where I can sit and organize. And so I stopped the next day and I put aside some time to just get my things in order. You know, I moved the papers into a filing system. I put the books back on my shelf. I cleared the clutter. And I like to consider myself a fairly organized person in most parts of my life, but sometimes it's work or sometimes it's home or sometimes it's just a little bit of both. I end up feeling like the clutter starts to take over. And that's when I start to feel like I don't have control over a situation. And not to say that we always have control over everything, but isn't it nice when we have some order, when we can put things down and say, ah, this is where this belongs. When I think about this week's invitation within our Dynamite Prayer, I am drawn to the way that our authors talk about the desire to recharge. That at worship, we are getting something that is spiritually uplifting us, but we really have to create more space to listen to how this dynamite power of the spirit is moving within us. I look at page 22 and 23, day eight of our, of our study that started this week. And the authors pose this question of what will connect or reconnect you to a supernatural, supernational dunamis power charge right now? And that's a good question because that is something that I think it takes us some time to think through and to listen to what God is doing. And that's really a part of what this week is about. It's kind of a continuation from the sermon on Sunday that we have to stop and we have to really listen to what God is intending for us. And we have to consider the ways that maybe that is different than what our own intentions are. And that can be really hard because I think there's so often at times where we are really yearning for something, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it is within the direction of holiness. That's hard to hear. Um, sometimes our, our own earthly desires just don't match to what that kingdom vision looks like. And so when we clear the clutter of our minds to really sit and listen to what God is saying through the spirit, that gives us some new intent. It also, I think, allows us to think about the other. You know, the there's one thing to pray and to continue to pray for things for yourself, but it's another thing to be able to clear your mind and say, all right, who else is hurting in this space? Who else needs prayer? And to pursue a prayer for God's inbreaking within those folks' lives as well. And then there's the invitation. The invitation that they talk about as well is to say, invite God to break through, open new doors of possibility. And I love that because I think one of the things that we get the chance to do when we clear the clutter, when we have the space to think, is that we get to think creatively about new things. I know that my mind feels so much more at ease because I have all of this clear open space. When your mind is clear, what are the things that you're able to invite into your heart to think more thoroughly about? How do we invite those prayers into the space that we're creating to commune with, with the spirit? 
I encourage you as we continue through this dynamite prayer to ask God for that kind of clarity, but also to dream, to dream of these really great, wonderful, exciting things that you want to see happening in your life, but in other people's lives, and also in the life of our community. As a church, we have a power to pray together, to dream together, but it happens because we are able to make the space to do that dreaming. And so I'm gonna leave you today with one of the prayers that I wrote and I hope that it's something that you might be able to take as well. Again, it's from day eight because I'm, I'm just kind of sitting still in that, that space of reflection, of clearing space. And I, I just ask that this prayer be something simple. God, help me let go of the things that distract me from closer connection with you. Maybe we can all commit to that once or twice this week. I look forward to hearing how you are praying, how prayer is working in your life. Please don't be shy about telling us how God is working in those prayers that you've been given. How are you hearing the spirit move? Are you hearing the spirit move? We want to hear it all. And I hope that you will continue to join us day by day as we walk through these 28 days together. Have a good one. Take care. Mm -hmm.